Hello and welcome to Cisco ASA Training 101. My name is Don Crawley. I'm from SoundTraining.net. We're the Seattle, Washington-based publisher of learning resources and provider of accelerated training for IT professionals. This time we're going to show you how to use Active Directory to authenticate VPN users with Kerberos. It's a companion to Chapter 8 in my book, The Accidental Administrator, Cisco ASA Security Appliance. The book is certainly not required, but if you'd like to get a copy, it's available through Amazon and other online resellers, or you can visit our website at www.soundtraining.net slash bookstore. Our ASA software version is 9.11. We are not going to be using the ASDM. This will be done entirely in the command line. Here's our network diagram. As you can see, you'll need a management workstation connected to the inside interface on a Cisco ASA. I'm using a 5505, but any of the ASAs will work. You'll also need an Active Directory server. Frankly, you could probably do this with any Kerberos server, but I'm using a Windows Server 2012 box um, running Active Directory for Kerberos, and it will also need to be connected to the inside interface on the ASA. And you'll need an external VPN client. Optionally, you might want to have internet access, but that's not required for the exercise. Here's the official list of your equipment and software requirements. A Cisco ASA security appliance with a base license and a remote access VPN already configured. One computer serving as a management workstation. One computer serving as a VPN client running Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8. Now, other operating systems are certainly supported. The VPN client that I'm using in the demonstration is supported on Windows Vista 7 or 8, but you know, if you're running Linux or uh, Mac OS or even an older version of Windows, there are clients available. You'll also need one computer running Microsoft Active Directory. As I mentioned, I'm using Windows Server 2012, but this should work with any of the AD products that are there, or as I mentioned before, perhaps any uh, system running Kerberos. You'll also need a console cable connected to the serial port on the management workstation and the console port on the ASA, and terminal emulation software such as PuTTY. You could use Secure CRT, TerraTerm, even HyperTerminal would work for what we're doing here. Prerequisites. In order to do this exercise, you'll need the following. Unrestricted privilege mode access to a Cisco ASA security appliance, an Active Directory user account and password, and you should have some comfort working in the Cisco command line environment since we're going to be doing the entire exercise in the command line. Here's a summary of the steps. You'll create an AAA server group. You'll configure the group for Kerberos authentication, and you'll add the authentication server group to the appropriate VPN users tunnel group. It's really about all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. Here's your disclaimer. This video is provided solely as a courtesy to you, our viewer. There are no guarantees whatsoever. Do not attempt these procedures on a production firewall without first testing them for security and suitability in a lab environment. Performing these procedures may open your firewall to the public internet and subject your network to attack, so make sure you have current backups and take precautions including data encryption and additional access controls to protect sensitive data. Always a good idea, just in general. So let's do the demo. First thing we're going to do is go into privilege mode with the command configure terminal, which I will abbreviate probably the same way you do with conf space t. Now I'm going to create my AAA server group with the command aaa-server. Then I'm going to use some text string to identify it. I like to use a descriptive one, so we'll do this in all caps. Again, just to make it a little easier to see in the config, AD servers. And then protocol, and we'll choose Kerberos. You could also do Radius or uh, LDAP or several others, but we'll do Kerberos for this demonstration. We'll show you the others in a separate video. Now you'll notice that the prompt changes. It says AAA-Server-Group. AAA, by the way, if you don't know, is Authentication, Authorization, and Accounting. Now we need to do the configuration, and it's very straightforward. We're going to do the command AAA-Server, Add Servers, identifying the AAA Server Group. Then we're going to specify the interface to which the servers are connected with the command Inside and we identify its IP address with the command host 192.168.101.101. You'll notice that the prompt changes now to config-aaa-server-host and now we simply have to specify our Kerberos realm with the command Kerberos oops helps to be able to type realm and then this is typically going to map to your AD domain name, and it needs to be in all uppercase. So we'll hit the caps lock and do soundtraining.local, or whatever your AD domain is, and hit enter. 
And now we're really we're done with the configuration on the um, on the AAA servers. We still need to configure the tunnel group to support Kerberos authentication. But let's just check this before we do that. Um, and we can do this at the command line. Kind of a cool command. We'll use the command test AAA dash server authentication AD servers. That's our server group name. Host. 192.168.101.101 Username, this has to be an AD user, an Active Directory user that's already in existence, so we're going to use user01 and then password, and we specify user01's password, which is p at ss1234. Hit enter, and as you can see, it's successful. Isn't that cool? That was very simple. Now, the only thing we have to do uh, in order to make it work for VPN users is add the authentication type, the Kerberos authentication, to the tunnel group for our VPN users. So I've already created a tunnel group for um, our remote access users. Uh, this is account reps NA, for example, North America. So we're going to use the command tunnel-group. Again, this has to be one that you've already created. And I'm going to use quotes because I've got some spaces in the name. So account reps NA. And then I'm going to use the command general dash attributes. Notice that the prompt changes now to config dash tunnel dash general. All I have to do is add in my Kerberos authentication group, which is the AD servers, as you'll recall. So we'll use the command authentication. Oops. Dash server dash group ad servers. Now I'm also going to add on here local and the reason for that is because the local database on the ASA will be a fallback in case the ad servers aren't reachable. Now it's not if authentication fails it falls back. That's not what happens. But if there's a network problem, some reason that, that the ASA can't reach the Active Directory server, then it will fall back to local authentication. Just in general, you usually want to do that. I, I'm going to say almost always want to do it. I can't imagine when you wouldn't, but you know there may be some high security situation where you wouldn't want to do it. But for most people, you'll always want to have that local fallback so that if you can't reach the AD server or servers, it will fall back to local authentication using the user database on the ASA. So we'll go ahead and hit Enter. And now we should be ready to test it by attempting to log on using a VPN client. So I've got my Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility client open. And as you can see, I've entered the fully qualified domain name of my ASA, whatever yours is. Obviously, you have to modify it to match that. And we'll go ahead and click on Connect. It's asking for a username, which we've already got user01 in there, because obviously I've tested this a couple of times before I recorded it. And we'll enter user 01's password, p at ss1234, and let's see what happens. Look at that. It's establishing it, and if you look down in the lower right-hand corner, you can see the VPN is connected to the ASA. And it's using Kerberos authentication. It's amazingly easy, and if you're running Active Directory, this is a great way to make things really easy for your end users because they can use their Active Directory username and password to authenticate on the VPN. And obviously, the easier we make it for them, the fewer complaints we have, and the better it is for everybody. If you'd like more information, we've got it for you online at our website at www.soundtraining.net. I blog at soundtraining.net slash blog. You can subscribe to our newsletter at soundtraining.net slash newsletter. Like us on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook at soundtraining.net slash Facebook. And follow us on Twitter and Google Plus if those are your preferences. If you'd like more videos, we've got them for you. Um, just uh, go to www.soundtraining.net slash videos. I try to add at least one a week, sometimes more, occasionally less, but that's always the goal. And if you'd like the companion book or any of our books for IT professionals, they're available at our bookstore at www.soundtraining.net slash bookstore. Well, I hope it's been helpful for soundtraining.net. I'm Don Crawley. I'll see you next time.